Hey guys, Reusurf Team here. Um, uh, it is of course Yokai Day Friday. Um, I still have not received my Shogunyan medal. I don't want to say don't trust Freddy Hernandez, but I haven't received it and mine was sent out. And I'm sure it would have been received by now. So, um, hopefully it's just late. Uh, because I really don't want to accuse someone of uh, theft when I have no actual proof other than that I don't have my item. Um, but I uh, thought I had a good idea today, so what I'm going to do is talk about one of the classical yokai. And uh, a yokai that is based off of it. I'm referring to Wakapa. Wokapa is based off of a Kappa. Uh, there are various myths about them. They're usually tricksters, just playful. Um, they will pull children into the water. Sometimes they will drown them. They're not necessarily always malevolent, but sometimes they are. Um, they also have a tendency to drown horses, or at least try to. And in fact, maybe related to the Kelpie of Scotland or the Neck of Scandinavia. Uh, the myths may share in origin. Um, they were used to warn kids about playing in rivers. Uh, uh, m most of them are just uh, playful pranksters. However, there are some who do legitimately try to drown uh, children in horses. And have also uh, been uh, reported as taking your soul out of your body. The, the way they do this is by reaching into your butt and taking your intestines out. Uh, yes, uh, that's actually the first myth I ever heard about the cat. And I actually uh, heard about this because I was uh, learning about something else, and I'm going to bring it up in a minute. Uh, Kappa have a dish on their head. Uh, this dish is filled with water from whatever river they are from. Uh, you can trick a kappa by bowing to it. Uh, kappa, despite their mischief nature, are always polite. And I know that seems weird with the whole intestine thing, but that's what the myth says. Uh, so you can trick them by bowing to them, and they will bow back. When they bow, the water that is in their di the dish on their head will fall out, and they will be stuck in that position until they get that uh, river water back. If a human manages to get the river water into their dish, they will serve that human for life. As you can imagine, that can be good or bad depending on the human. Wokapa himself uh, is not necessarily a kappa, as he prefers walking to swimming, hence the name Wokapa. Uh, but he is a descendant of the classical kappa. Uh, that is something that I believe we uh, do get confirmed in season two. Uh, kappa have been known to eat children, and it's said that the only thing that they like more than that is cucumbers. Uh, they can have cucumbers. As far as I'm concerned, they're unripe pickles. Uh, <laughs> so, their name, uh, more or less means river child. In Wakapa's case, it's basically walking river child, so, you get the idea. Um, but the first time I ever heard of Kappa was uh, doing research for something else. And uh, this was a long time ago. I was still in high school. It was research on the radish demon from Spirit of the Way, who is also based off of a Kappa, though in a different way. As you can see, it has the dish on its head. Uh, right, I can't show you with the mouse. Uh, sorry. Uh, but as you can see, it has a dish on its head, and uh, 
Presumably that dish is filled with water where it comes up into the point of the top. Uh, but the rationing is based off of a cafe. Uh, so I figured since I don't have any new mouths show off, I'd just do a little history thing uh, like I do so often. Um, I'm quite enjoying uh, doing the research on these actually. Uh, Wakapa, um, I believe, has actually uh, found a way around the uh, Balin problem by uh, carrying his river water with him in that uh, in that bottle that he wears around his neck. So yeah. Um, So that's it for the Yokai Day portion of this video, and if you'll bear with me, I am going to get set up for my vlog portion, because again, I like to have the vlog as part of the video. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, here's the second part of my video. Um, I just picked up Kirby Planet Robobot today. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm up to the uh, fourth area, so I'm actually pretty close to... Uh, completing the main story, but this is a Kirby game. You know there's probably all kinds of stuff that I need to collect to actually beat the game. Um, along with it, I picked up some Amiibo. Um, the uh, Kirby series Amiibo. First, I'm going to show off the uh, the one new character from it, which is uh, Waddle Dee. Look at him on his little cloud there. So, uh, Wild D gives you a, uh, Bandana D, uh, costume with, uh, the, uh, Parasol ability. Then, uh, I got two Amiibo of characters that I needed but could not find because they're just so rare for whatever reason. Um, that is, of course, King DDD. And his, uh, Captain Meta Knight. And, uh, I am aware that it's pronounced Day 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 in Japan, but in the U.S. it's DDD, so... To the point where they even recorded twice on Smash Brothers, so... So, King DDD gives, uh, basically a King DDD costume, uh... The color of Kirby's skin varies depending on whether you're using the Smash one or not, uh, from what I saw online. Uh, I don't have the Smash one, so I couldn't tell myself. Uh, but, so here's DDD in his classic, uh, Kirby colors. See, he looks, uh, pretty much like, uh, the Kirby 64 DDD. Um, or rather the ones that have existed since he's been put into 3D. Uh, and uh, Meta Knight, uh, you got a Meta Knight costume with and the uh, sword ability. Uh, I think I mentioned King DDD had the hammer ability, I can't quite remember for sure. Uh, again, uh, Kirby's skin color changes based off the Smash or uh, or Kirby series. It should be noted that you do not need the amiibo to get 100%. That is something I have looked up. In fact, you actually get uh, what this one gives you for being the game, I believe. Uh, this Kirby gives you UFO Kirby. Believe me, it is very, very useful to have. Uh, Uh, so I played, uh, basically one whole, uh, area with, uh, UFO Kirby, and then I went to just playing, uh, normally. Uh, you can scan in, uh, ten amiibo per level, um, each time you play the level. So, you don't have as much limitation as a lot of the, the games give, like, for example, Pokémon Tournament only being able to scan in five a day. 
You can scan in as many amiibo as you want a day, just as long as you finish the level once you scan ten in. So I see Kirby on his uh, warp star here, as opposed to just uh, sitting down like his uh, smash trophy. I really do like this, but I especially like uh, Meta Knight. He's got a really nice uh, chrome mask. I haven't beaten the game yet, so I'm unable to actually play as Meta Knight yet. I'm assuming it's the same rules as for uh, Kirby uh, Nightmare in Dreamland. I don't know for sure. Uh, one of the neater things on the game is that you can customize your robot. Um, you'll uh, find stickers throughout levels, and uh, they will. Uh, allow, and you can put a sticker on either shoulder of the mech. Uh, you do have a limited number of stickers. So if you have only one of the sticker, and you put it on one shoulder. If you want to put it on the other one, I say shoulder, but I should actually be saying arm because it's just that side in general, and it changes based off of what form you're in. Uh, actually, even arm doesn't work because uh, it's a wheel <laughs> mode. Uh, well, on the side of the mech. Somewhere on the side. Let's put it that way. Uh, you, you'll you get a stickers like... Uh, I have a, Currently, mine has a, a gear with Kirby's face in it on the left shoulder or left side and a gear with... Uh, can give you space on the right side. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, there's a whole bunch of stickers to collect. A whole ton. Um, it does give you some clues as you go through the game as to where some of them are. Uh, in a similar way to, uh, how you can get the hints to unlock, how to unlock stuff on Smash Brothers. Um, so far, my favorite of the robot modes is, uh, I have no idea why the music stopped, but whatever. Uh, my favorite of the robot modes is, uh, real mode, just because it's so fun to play. My favorite new ability, um, I think is probably poison, uh, Though, I do really like how they did, uh, Psy Kirby. Uh, like with Sword Kirby, where his hat was designed after Lynx, Psy Kirby's hat is designed after Nessus. And, in fact, the abilities are even PK, whatever. And plays kind of like how Ness and Lucas play in Smash, so it's, so it's pretty neat. But, uh, I definitely think Poison's my favorite if only because you can surf on the poison, like on the non-existent water Kirby uh, from the anime. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to probably be looking at that up later because I really want to watch that again. Um, I haven't unlocked it yet, but I imagine that a uh, Meta Knight symbol on his shoulder here will be one of the stickers. Uh, I'm also certain that King Dedede's peace sign or bunny uh, will be a sticker. I know it's supposed to be a peace sign, but let's face it, it's a bunny. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Got those today. I've been playing it all day. That's why uh, this video is up late because I cannot stay away from that game. It is very fun. Uh, so uh, that's my uh, review of the game. Uh, review in quotes. It's not much of a review. It's just me saying that I really, really do like this game. Uh, you need an actual review from Game Explain. Uh, I know Derek Bittner did one. Uh, so, uh, 
that's all for today, and I will see you guys in the next video, which uh, will probably be night six of FNAF 2, now that I have it available. Um, and as always, you, I will see you guys next time, and have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys!